These cops were at the right place at the right time as they busted these dangerous criminals. First up, we have a routine traffic stop of a guy named Jeremy Guthrie, who was driving wildly across the highway. Let's get into the video and see what officers find out as they approach him. Hey there. Hello. How are you? All right. Just all right? Yeah. Okay. okay. Should you have license? There's your wallet right there between your legs. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I was a little bit nervous. So was I, the way you're driving? Huh? I said... You mentioned that you were nervous? Right. I was nervous while I was behind you driving down I-40. You were in lane number one at times. You went away from lane number one all the way over. Didn't you a signal? Had problems keeping the, your, 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 your vehicle one lane. And then when you merge on from uh, westbound 40 to northbound 25, you took that curve way too fast. I did. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm I thought you were going to crash. No, I don't know. I didn't say. I don't think so. I'm just saying I thought you were going to crash. Okay, and then you have a bunch of kids in the car. How many kids? You have one, two, three, four, five, six. Who are these kids to you? Uh, this is my friend. That's your friend? Yeah. How old's your friend? 18. Uh, that girl's not 18? Huh? That girl's not 18? Yeah. No, she's not. No, I don't think she is. That girl's not 18. Trust me. She don't look 18. Ma'am, how old are you? I didn't ask you your name. I asked you how old, uh, how old you were. Jeremy, turn the car off and come back here and talk to me. All right. Let me see the keys. Thank you. Come on out. Why's your, why, why's your zipper, your button's down in your crotch? <laughs> well, I probably just forgot. Okay. Come back here. Upon approaching the car, the police were shocked to see the car being packed with six minors. Guthrie insisted that they were all his friends and 18 years old. Okay. Okay. Jeremy, how much you had to drink tonight? I haven't had anything to drink. Okay, I'm asking you again. Okay, you can barely stand still. Your speech is slurred. I've never heard you speak. You have a strong odor of, of, of an alcoholic beverage admitting for keeping your pockets. Uh, yeah, but you, yeah, but yeah, yeah, you actually have an overwhelming odor of an alcoholic beverage emitting from your breath. I know I haven't been drinking. So how much have you been drinking? Based on your driving, you're driving like, like a total idiot. How much have you had to drink? I messed up. Gotcha. And I did. Because. But I haven't been drinking. Can you explain why I can smell from your breath every time you breathe and talk to me? The, what is that? Can you explain to me why I can smell the strong odor of an alcoholic beverage emitting from your breath every time you breathe and talk to me? Explain that odor. Oh, well, I don't even know. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, I haven't had anything to, to drink. When did you last drink? Like, probably, um, it's, been a, it's been a little while. Like an hour? I would say it's more than a, a yeah, like more maybe two, yeah, like, roughly. Okay. Like two hours. That's like. fair, because you know what? Two hours is totally is, is totally different than no, I haven't been drinking. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I mean, that's uh, okay. No, that's okay. We're not we're not gonna argue I about mean, it. Uh, I mean, I know what I smell. I know what I hear. I know what I see. Okay. Simple as that. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. Well, you already did. You said I hadn't been drinking. 
And then I kind of played you, said, was it an hour ago? It's like, no, longer. Two hours? Yeah. It's been a few hours. Okay. I mean... Uh, gotcha. Well, I mean, we're not going to argue about that. I mean, I know what I smell. Okay? Do you think you're safe to drive? Do you think you're safe to drive? Yeah. You do? Absolutely. Once again, you and I will disagree on that, too. I don't think you're safe to drive. Just based on, just based on, on, on how you're driving. All over I-40, again, going way too fast around that curve. Okay? Guthrie looked quite messy when he got out of the car, but he kept insisting that he hadn't drank any alcohol, even though the cops noticed a distinct alcohol odor. Okay, how old are you? 14. 14, thank you. Simple, simple question. 14. Four, really 14? Yes, sir. Okay. 14. Okay. 13. Okay. 13. Okay. 14. Okay. Who is this guy to anybody? Uh, that's our homies. And then she knows his kid. Okay. So, that there's your homie? Or, okay, so you, got, you, you guys all need to call your parents. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. And have your parents meet, meet us here. Okay. All of our parents? All your parents. And it has to be your mom or dad. Not sister. It has to be your parents. Okay. So we're going to get on it. You want to talk out? No, no. You just you you stay in there. Sorry, I don't like you. What, what is that? Sign say I 40 and I kind of Where are we right now, actually? We're on uh, Comanche. Can we make a call? Yeah. We're, we're at, we're at Northbound, Northbound I 25. I could take these two right here. No. no? They're mom and dad. Let's come here. Okay. Start here. Don't worry. You, again, you get you, 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 you. Yeah. What is your name? And don't lie to me. Yeah. Screw it. Don't, don't, don't call anybody. You guys will all be, all be going with me. Because I'm not going to play the game. Someone wants to play stupid, all because of her. So same with that. Say your name. Yeah, you did. Cool. 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 It's okay. No. So let's go to Juvie. Okay. And then, come on, Jane Doe. I'll call you Jane Doe. Oh, now you want to talk? Now you want to talk? Like I said, right now, no one's in trouble. Okay? Um, why? Because um, I have no idea who you guys are, so I can't contact your parents. Yeah, you do, actually. While one of the police officers began questioning Guthrie, the other police returned to the vehicle and spoke with the children inside. But where were you coming from is what I was asking. Like, what was what was your original location before you before you drove to this spot right here? That was my house. So your house. So you're coming from your house. You're going to go pick someone up. Where were where's that person at? That we went to go pick up. Yeah. What's the, what's the location? What's the destination? They um, they weren't the, they weren't there. Oh okay. So now where were you guys headed? I headed back to the house. Oh, back to your house. Where do you live, man? Right here. In the North Valley? Okay, cool. Uh, what did you have to drink there at your house? I just had, um, I didn't have very much to drink. No, but I asked, what did you have to drink? I didn't have very much. Yeah, no, th that's okay, that's okay. I'm just asking what you had to drink. Was it beer, wine, uh, alcohol? Um, Yeah, I had, uh, I had some beer. You had some beer? Earlier. Uh, How many of them? Um, like three. Three? The officers told the children to get in touch with their parents. Meanwhile, they went on questioning Guthrie, who insisted on not having any alcohol despite his slurred speech and inability to process questions asked by the officers. If you understand all the instructions, then you can go ahead and begin, okay? Okay. One, two. Mrs. Hiloto steps offline. Mrs. Hiloto. Mrs. Hiloto. Mrs. Hiloto. Improper turn. Steps offline. Steps offline. Mrs. Hiloto. Steps offline. Mrs. Hiloto. Mrs. Yoloto. Is that 10 steps? I did the 9. Huh? Uh, I'm 
sorry, I did the nine. Yeah, I know. It, it, I thought you had done a ten on that way back. Oh, okay. Okay. So. Well, I could do ten. Did you do ten? Because you stopped, you went nine, and then you made another step. I just thought you said nine. Yeah, yeah, it was just, it was just nine. But okay, so. Guthrie miserably failed the field sobriety test, particularly when he was asked to count and recite alphabets. During these tests, open bottles of tequila and fireball whiskey were found in his car. Convinced by the evidence, the officers arrested Guthrie. Go and stand up. Go and turn around for me. Go and turn around. Go and turn around. All right, so you're going to be placed under arrest for DWI, okay? Don't, don't forget his phone. Okay. I'll yeah. Put it, I'll put it yeah. Right Let's go over here to the to the passenger side. Okay, man. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me double lock these so they don't get tighter on you. Okay. Five forty-five. Send calm. Go ahead and have a seat inside of here. I have one fifteen for forty-seven at this time. All right, man. I gotta read you something important, okay? All right, listen to me. I'm about to tell you something important. You're under arrest for DWI, okay? The New Mexico Implied Consent Act requires you to submit to a breath test to determine the alcohol content of your blood. After you take our test, you have the right to choose an additional independent test. If you choose to take this additional independent test, Following the arrest, Guthrie faced serious charges, including 10 counts of sexual penetration of a minor, 3 counts of sexual contact with a minor, 2 counts of contributing to the delinquency of a minor, and 1 count of false imprisonment. Since July of 2022, Guthrie has been detained without bond at the Metropolitan Detention Center. Next up, we have Jessica Moore, who found herself in a distressing situation when she exited her car with her keys and her 9-year-old son still inside. An unknown man entered the car and drove off, taking her son with him. Are you in the crocodile location? It's right there. I'm going to go look. <laughs> yeah, I want to go ahead. You're up, look around Bogle Court Street and Evan Street. Evan. I got the car, Peoples and RDA. Peoples and RDA. Go, 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 go. He cut off on people's. Give me the air. People's northbound towards Oak Street. GSP is behind him. GSP pit. GSP pit. Show me your f***ing hands. Show me your f***ing hands. Get the f*** out the car. Get the f*** out the door. Open the f***ing door. Single trying to kill us. He's trying to kill us. Oh my gosh, she's trying to kill us. Oh my gosh, she's trying to kill me. Why would y'all do that, man? Get out. Get out. Please don't, please don't. Get out. Don't, don't beat me up, man. Get Listen, out. don't get on that. Don't, don't, don't fight me, man. Get on the ground. Don't fight me. Stop, don't fight me. He don't stop. Don't fight me. He don't stop. Don't fight me. The Atlanta Police Department joined forces with state and local law enforcement officers to catch the man who was later identified as Darius White. He hit us! That's the man who messed up! He hit us! He hit us. He's trying to kill us! He hit us! That's messed up! Oh, you f***ing... Everyone, thanks for your opinion. Appreciate you coming over also. Oh, 
was. That's messed up. White was charged with abduction, cruelty to children, and stealing. Upon these charges, Fulton County Court granted White a $20,000 bond.